These quotes are gonna teach you how to live. True story. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Barney Stinson quotes to live by from How I Met Your Mother. For this list, we'll be going over the quotes spoken by Barney Stinson that are actually pretty good advice. Also, there may be some spoilers ahead, as we'll also be discussing the context for these quotes. And I rediscovered just how awesomely awesome my life is. Peace out, hombres! <laughs> Number 10. Suit up. Okay, meet me at the bar in 15 minutes, and suit up! Barney Stinson is obsessed with suits, so much so that he's rarely seen without one. He's also adamant that his friends join him in being dressed to the nines, with one of his catchphrases being suit up. While not everyone's happy place is as tied to formal wear as Barney's is, suiting up is still something worth living by. Look at you, you beautiful bastard. You suited up. This is totally going in my blog. <laughs> How we look to the world can be important. And even if suits aren't your thing, trying to look your best is still a good idea. Whether you want to look fancy or just wear what looks best on you, suiting up is solid advice for any occasion. Nothing suits me like a suit. Number nine. Sunday of Awesomeness. Barney wasn't always the womanizing bro he is for most of the show. Before he met the gang, he dated a woman named Shannon, whose rejection for the business bro drove Barney to imitate the guy who stole his girl. And then she told me about her life. She and Greg dated for a while and then split up. But here's the real kicker. Shannon's a mom. She has a little kid named Max. That's crazy. That could have been my kid. After reconnecting with her, Barney's recounting of the event initially makes it seem like he regrets the path he took. But he soon reveals that his tears are ones of joy. My life rocks. Huh? Money, suits, and sex, these are tears of joy. <laughs> he loves the life he leads, or at least claims to. Whether it's genuine or not, and whether you admire Barney's life choices, looking for the positives in one's life is often more helpful than focusing on the negatives. Plus, here's the mini cherry on top of the regular cherry on top of the Sunday of awesomeness that is my life. Number eight, let go of the fantasies. It's no secret that Barney didn't grow up with a strong father figure. He actually believed game show host Bob Barker was his dad for much of his life. It's not my dad, my dad's Bob Barker. When he and his brother James uncover what may be Barney's real father's name while cleaning out Barney's childhood room, Barney admits to the fact that he knows Barker wasn't really his dad, but that it was a nice fantasy to believe he had a famous father. I know Bob Barker's not really, you know, I'm not crazy. I just, I needed that. He then declares that he's done with fantasies and that he's ready to grow up. As fun as fantasies are, reality will always be there waiting, and it's better to face it. Advice Barney still has trouble following. But you're right, James. It's time to let go of the fantasies. It's time to grow up. Number seven, searching for what I really want. Robin and Barney have a pretty tumultuous relationship. After Barney's breakup with Quinn, Robin begins pursuing Barney while he seemingly doesn't notice, instead taking her coworker Brandy home. However, after recounting the evening to Robin and Lily, Barney tells them that he came to a personal revelation and that his promiscuous behavior since his breakup with Quinn has been a cry for help. Thinking about how everything I've done since Quinn and I broke up has been a cry for help. He claims that he's searching for what he really wants from life, and that he doesn't know what he's looking for. I'm searching, searching for what I really want in life. And you know what? I have absolutely no idea what that is. Many of us can relate to not knowing what we want out of life, but like Barney says, we still need to try. I'm going to figure it out. I have to. Good night, guys. Number six, it's your job to make him awesome. After Barney manages to get a girl's phone number with an extremely lame pickup line, which Ted criticized previously, Barney tells his friend that his biggest problem is that he overthinks things. Ted, I believe you and I met for a reason. It's like the universe was saying, hey, Barney, there's this dude, he's pretty cool, but it's your job to make him awesome. He then pushes Ted to try the free shot samples they've been given to turn off his inhibitions, claiming that the universe has charged him with making Ted awesome. So what, you, uh, you want me to do a shot? Oh no, I want you to do five shots. Ooh, more interesting. Overthinking things is always a problem that's best avoided, since it freezes you into never acting. 
In addition, improving the lives of those around you is another excellent philosophy to live by. Even if encouraging excess drinking isn't always the best way to do it. No, no, it's a great idea. That's the whole point of getting drunk. You do things you'd never do in a million years if you were sober. Says every girl you've ever slept with. So <laughs> Number five, it's about believing you can do it. Basically from the moment Barney meets Ted, he tried to get his friend to loosen up. And the suit-clad womanizer tries something similar with Marshall, with less success. After learning that Marshall has only ever been with Lily, Barney decides to push him to hit on the hottest girl in the bar, which is, unbeknownst to him at the time, Lily. Look at her. How much hotter is she than your girlfriend? <laughs> There's no comparison. Uh, what do you think, Ted? Oh, Should I go for it? Don't do it, man. I mean, think about Lily. <laughs> you know what? I don't care. I've been with one woman for too long. I need me some strange. He then advises Marshall that scoring is not as important as believing he can do it, which Barney doesn't believe he can. So remember, tonight isn't about scoring. It's about believing that you can do it, even though you probably can't. Go get it, Tiger. While Marshall immediately and hilariously proves him wrong, Barney's advice is good in general, as being too focused on one's goals leads to greater disappointment when those goals aren't met. <laughs> that man is a god. Number four, sometimes we search for one thing but discover another. After a mystery girl starts sabotaging Barney's attempts to hit on women everywhere, he enlists his friends to form a bracket to try to narrow down which of his former conquests he's wronged enough to earn this vendetta. However, by the episode's end, he's still no closer to finding the answer. Barney then updates his blog and writes that his attempts to find the mystery girl led him to find something else. How awesome he is. Searching for one thing but finding another is something that happens all too often in life. And we should embrace it when it happens, since our intended path may not always be the best one. Number three, it's not legendary unless your friends are there to see it. I'm gonna teach you how to <laughs> live. On the eve before Barney's wedding to Robin, he decides to go out for one last night on the town, taking a pair of younger guys under his wing to impart his knowledge on how to be an awesome single guy to them. Don't get married until you're 30. Play laser tag once a week. Give at least as many high fives as you get. One of his final lessons is that no matter what you do, it isn't legendary without your friends. This is a very real truism. You can be as successful and awesome as you can be, but without someone you care about around to see it, your accomplishments are bound to feel hollower. Basically, friends make life worth living. And most importantly, whatever you do in this life, it's not legendary unless your friends are there to see it. Good luck, boys. Number two, when I get sad, I stop being sad and be awesome instead. When Lily leaves Marshall to go to San Francisco, the poor guy is seriously depressed. He stays home all the time not getting laid? No, see, that's what you do when you have a fiance. He should be down here celebrating. He's free. He got that redheaded tumor removed. However, Barney believes he sees the problem. Marshall needs to stop being sad. He then claims that whenever he's sad, he stops being sad and is awesome instead. While if taken literally, this is pretty bad advice, particularly if you have a condition that affects your mood permanently like depression, but from a figurative perspective, it's not bad. He needs to stop being sad. When I get sad, I stop being sad and be awesome instead. <laughs> True story. Focusing on the positives in your life can improve your mood and trying to strive for awesomeness might also help take your mind off of whatever is making you blue. Barney saw such incredible character growth over the course of the show. If you had told me in between Have You Met Ted's and the pilot that he'd be a great source of advice and motivation, I wouldn't have believed you. Here are some other pearls of wisdom from the best dressed person at McLaren's, or even Puzzles, before we hit number one. But you don't have long to wait for it. That way I have a second chance to make a first impression. Because a lie is just a great story that someone ruined with the truth. Barney Stinson. You are the love of my life. <laughs> everything I have. And everything I am. 
is yours. <laughs> Forever. I love everything about her. And I'm not a guy who says that lightly. I'm a guy who has faked love his entire life. I thought love was just something idiots thought they felt. But this woman has a hold on my heart that I could not break if I wanted to. And there have been times that I wanted to. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Legend. Wait for it. Dairy. Not now, Trish! But there's an urgent memo for Mr. Mosby. Dairy. Legendary! <laughs> Let's conclude things with one of Barney's most notorious catchphrases. Barney frequently describes things he has and his friends will experience as legendary. Ted, tonight we're gonna go out. We're gonna meet some ladies. It's gonna be legendary. Whether any of what he gives the label to truly is worthy of it is debatable, but his attempts to make everything he does as exceptional and memorable as possible are worthy of imitation. All those things happened after 2 a.m. Because after 2 a.m. is when things get, audience, say it with me, legendary. <laughs> His frequent interjection of wait for it in the middle of the word is also appropriate, since truly legendary events don't happen every day. And even if our lives aren't truly legendary, it doesn't mean we should stop trying to make them so. Working together is gonna be legend. Wait for it. I'll send you an inner office memo with the rest because we freaking work together! <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.